We are uh, extremely blessed today. Uh, it's uh, it's a very great fortune to have the darshan of a pure devotee. Also. Now we not only have one pure devotee, but we have three great exalted persons, and these three, I'm sure there are others, who uh, have graced our uh, little preaching center here. And uh, we are, this is really truly Krishna's uh, causeless mercy, as Maharaj was talking about yesterday. No, today morning, this morning actually, causeless mercy. So, this is truly causeless mercy. And uh, so, uh, we all know, we, we all were there yesterday, for yesterday program, today morning also. But uh, so, Maharaj needs no introduction. But he is a very, very highly respected and uh, very, uh, uh, very powerful preacher and leader of Islam. I mean, keep it short. And we can keep on talking about Maharaj for an hour also. Uh, but Maharaj doesn't like introductions so much. <laughs> so, uh, and of course, our beloved Nahman Prabhuji. And uh, this is Rishikumar Prabhu. Shikumar Prabhu is a, uh, is a very senior devotee in Iskon, Delhi, Kaga Park, Kaga And uh, he is very uh, active in Iskon uh, administration in the zonal level and uh, regional level. He has served as uh, chairman of NIDC, which is National uh, North Indian Division Council, which is the council for all, all the Iskon temple centers in North India. And uh, also, has many other uh, responsible positions in preaching and, uh, uh, and also in fundraising and many other things. This I brought uh, His Holiness Prabhupada from Mr. Maharaj. Uh, and Maharaj is a separate from the Ravana So uh, let us welcome uh, all these great personalities in a traditional way by loudly chanting Haribo! 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 So, uh, so I just wanted to introduce some of the devotees here. Uh, so this is Sukhdev Guru. Uh, he, is, he has passed out of Jabalpur Engineering College uh, two years ago. And he worked for uh, about a year in uh, ACS, Tata Consultant Services. And actually Damodar Prabhu is a Brahmacharya from Temple. He is also from the same college. One year senior to him, and uh, so uh, so Sukhdev is managing this, uh, the students part of this, and the grass the preaching is uh, done by uh, two couples. One is Ram Uttar Prabhu sitting there, and also uh, Asutosh Prabhu. Yes, Asutosh Prabhu and his good wife uh, Ashwini Mataji. And that is Ram Uttar Prabhu and his wife. So these two couples are basically engaged in preaching to the Prasthas, the congregation. So we have two programs here, one for the youth and one for congregation. The congregation program is managed by these two couples. Unfortunately, because this time is a little hard, we couldn't have the time to <laughs> advertise the program. But here we only have the devotees who live here and uh, just a few Prasthas. So, <clears throat> So they are doing the Grasta programs and you may have Yeah. Uh, Ramata Prabhu, he, he lives here only in the, not nearby, uh, in the city. It's near Bhavarkuva, so they come every Sunday. And uh, <clears throat> so, and these uh, students, of course, they live here, most of them. Some of them are from outside, most of them live here. And uh, apart from Sukhdev Prabhu, they also have. Pundarik Prabhu, also from the Purjari College. And uh, uh, there is uh, uh, Ganesh Prabhu, Puri Prabhu. Uh, 
he also worked in TCS. And this is a Vishwamdhar. He is from Sagar, and uh, he is uh, he also underwent course on yagna, performing yagnas in Mayapur, and he is a he performs yagnas also. And he also does college uh, teaching. Okay. Apart from him, we also have uh, Navin Krishna Prabhu. He does uh, several services, maintenance and other things. And uh, uh, Suresh Suresh, yes, Suresh Prabhu is taking care of the accounts and the uh, uh, and management administration, and also some preaching. Yashodhananda is working. Outside, but he is living here and also. Is there initiated names or there? There are initiated names. Oh, from Amman, I thought now. I think there is such a pious place. <laughs> <laughs> so these devotees are initiated, uh, whom I will introduce now. There are others also. Uh, this is Anuj, he is not initiated. He is also full time from Sagar. And, uh, so, and then there are several other devotees uh, who come here regularly. This is Bajagavaranga Prabhu, also initiated recently. And uh, I'm missing someone. Yes, Narendra Puri. And uh, this is Vichitra Virya. Vichitra Virya Prabhu. And then there are other devotees who live in the audience. Who's that name? Puri Das. They are both sitting there. Sitting next to me, chanting Japa. Yes. Yes. He, he takes care of not only recording but also social media is coming there and also poster designing and some other services. So this is a brief introduction of some of the devotees here and then there are other base students, uh, uh, Mohak and uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Pratamesh and who else? This is uh, pra Pranav, that is Uday, Uday, yes, and Abhijit. And Shivansh, Shivansh Prabhu, and uh, Bhagyash Prabhu, Bhagyash Prabhu, yes, Shivansh. Yeah, so these are some of the devotees. I'm not sure. You see, almost. Yes, Kapil. Yeah, Kapil Prabhu is doing CA, but he is uh, also coming regularly and doing various services. And we have our Kuk Prabhu. Uh, Priti Mai Gaur Prabhu is a disciple of uh, as well as Jabatak Maharaj and wonderful cook. He can cook for uh, hundreds of people also. And we have programs here for congregation. Like every two, three, every two, three months, we do major event for about 300, 500 people. Uh, that's in the lawn. That there's a lot of space over there. We put a tent. Where is that? Uh, we have those pictures. So these are some of the pictures, please. These are events that we do here. We have separate events for youth, students, and the congregation. So this is the next building, this in the same campus with this, these pictures. There is something right next to you that also is the... No, in the same campus, there are two buildings. This, this one and the next one. That is also ours? That's also ours. The entire campus is ours. We will we'll have it, we'll take it to the place. About 22, 23 rooms in the four buildings together. About 50 students live here. Those who are Brahmacharis. One, two, three, four. Brahmachari means those are full time. <laughs> three, four, five, six. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, students and uh, working people, or working and students. Yes. And this is Sujan Prabhu. So, uh, this is a brief introduction. And uh, uh, Asutosh Prabhu and Ashwari Mataji can give a brief, quick report on the congregation preaching that's going on, please. Can you come forward? Some of the flyers. Yes. 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 Yes.
So we have uh, you know, a congregation program over there uh, on every Sunday. Uh, the almost uh, 200 people's you know, uh, devotees uh, are coming you know, on a regular basis. Uh, and usually we uh, uh, celebrated all the festivals that we have. And uh, also we also uh, uh, Going for some, uh, you know, uh, what we call yatra, you can say, uh, like uh, nearby places like Ujjain or maybe Maheshwar or anywhere, uh, we can you know, um, uh, conduct some uh, uh, yatra for them uh, on a regular basis. So, this one, anything else? Thank you. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so both of them are uh, very active in. Uh, Regarding the congregation and the youth preaching is done by mainly uh, Subhadeva Prabhu, Puri Prabhu, please stand. Subhadeva Prabhu, Puri Prabhu, and uh, Sureshwar Prabhu. They are the ones who are mainly doing college preaching. And uh, yeah, so some of the students are from SGS ITS College also, which is one of the top colleges of Madhya Pradesh in engineering. So, this is a brief introduction. So now uh, it's up to Maharaj and we are really, really fortunate uh, to have his association and uh, we would like to do some kirtan and some short. We have time. We have six of them. We have half an hour to reach. Until 5.30, it's 4.30. Yeah. 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 Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Now I have understood why all of you are looking so happy. Because we are all engaged fully in Krishna's service, in hearing and chanting the glories of the Lord. That is the business of life. And in assisting process of hearing and chanting. Srila Prabhupada said he built a house in which the whole world could live together. And this is a very beautiful house that we have here, two houses with a nice open lawn in the front. In big cities you can never imagine finding such a place. such a wonderful facility and for those of you who are studying and working what an excellent opportunity for you continue your studies and also at the same time live a life of Krishna consciousness live in a temple that you also like to talk There is a great responsibility upon all of you. Janma Sarka Kari Kara Pavarapata, as Mahaprabhu has said. Become pure devotees yourselves and help others also to become on the path of pure devotional service. And this is the most glorious job of all, happiest job. So all of you please continue, take full advantage, spread the message to other students and your colleagues in office in case you are working and also for the congregation of programs here, this is also very nice. How many people are coming here once a week or whenever you have the program? Every Sunday, if you have about 200 people coming here. Very nice, very nice. We have two separate programs, one for you and one for the congregation. So we went together. So the congregation.
notification program is a joint program for both, is it? Separate. So, why don't you have it in mind? Because they are two separate audiences. You want to have different classes for the college students. set up and much nice work going on. So congratulations and Mahaman Prabhu is giving you all the empowerment and support to do all this preaching. So please continue all glories to all of you. I won't make this a regular lecture because we have to go back have another meeting and then another class in the evening. Warm wishes to all of you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I'm sure uh, our dear uh, Rishikabru will oblige, say a few words, some short message. Two minutes. Language and 
he preached through his potency and his disciples throughout the whole world. So, on the one hand, we keep on expanding the movement, uh, that was making the point, but at the same time, we must maintain our standards very carefully. It's like boiling the breath of all of us. We keep maintaining, we standing, we are chanting the holy names of the Lord. And uh, at the same time, expanding Krishna Krishna's movement. Not forgetting that although we have many satellite centers, that we also need to focus on the main center. This is the point Maharaj was making this point that uh, it's good to expand, but at the same time, the major center or the main center, principal center which we call the flagship center, should also be focused on it. So we can put all the energies, many of the energies, and so everything goes wrong. And so I would like to just share because today's Jayapata Maharaj's appearance here. He has got here. As you all know, he's a very, very senior devotee. He joined in 68 to 69, very, very dear disciple of Srila Prabhupada, right from the beginning days. And, uh, he actually, the micro project we are seeing right now, the initial state is it was very difficult. Prabhupada was very much in stress in 72. Because he wanted to start a center in Mayapur. But in those days, there was a lot of opposition to our movement. And these foreign devotees, they were very new to the situation. Mahabharata was in Kolkata. He was healthy, he was not so particular. I personally go to Mayapur. But he sent two of his senior disciples, Kumar Krishna and Jai to get some land and get registered. And within a few days, Prabhupada was so relieved that Tamar Krishna Maharaj and Jagadaka Maharaj had actually got the land registered despite all the difficulties in life. That was a very happy moment in Prabhupada's life. There are many other services Jagadaka Maharaj said this morning. So in this, but the Sandhya Tavaraj was saying, actually, we are all endeavoring many of our Indian views, maybe you also, to go to America, <laughs> to get a visa for America, for American nationality. But here we find Jayatatata Maharaj, he had an American passport. He gave up that American passport and took Indian citizenship. <laughs> Many other services which we could be more talking about. But obviously, we pray for His mercy and share to the world's mercy. Maharaj, even though it is short, two, three minutes, but please share your words. I feel very blessed. it comes in contact with, it converts it into gold. That is the power of that Paris or the touchstone. 
specifically agree to what is also that touch stops. Whoever they come in contact with, they get them to the bodies. Eventually. Sometimes very soon, sometimes it will take some months or years, sometimes it will take a lifetime, two lifetimes or more. But once somebody comes in touch with the devotee, then his material life is finished. That is the beginning of the end of that person's material life. It is a process of ending material existence. It takes some time. It may take a few lifetimes also. So in this way, a devotee is like a touchstone because anyone who comes in contact with him <coughs> sooner or later will surrender to Krishna and accept devotional service very, very seriously. So we all sitting in this room and had some connection with Krishna consciousness in the previous life. Otherwise, we would not be here today. So each of us has done some amount of devotional service in the last life. We were all some kind of devotees. Some may have been very serious. Some may have been not so serious. Some may have been started. But there was very little contact. Without that, it is not possible. It carries forward from life to life, life after life. And what we have learned in devotional service and practice is never lost. When you have 10 lakh rupees in the bank and you die, then in the next life there is no guarantee that you will be born with 10 lakhs, that you will be born in a family that is that has that kind of money. There's no guarantee. Because that depends on the kind of karma that you do. But if you have learned some spiritual forms by doing devotional service in this life, then you are guaranteed that in the next life you will start from the same spiritual bank balance. Material bank balance may or may not be there, but spiritual bank balance will be there. And it will keep growing life after life till a point comes when the person will surrender to Krishna. Surrender to Krishna doesn't always mean becoming a Brahmacharya. It means that you accept Lord Krishna's instructions as your life and soul. You obey the instructions of Krishna with your heart. You may be any ashram of life. So then one becomes very seriously devoted to Krishna. And then one can become a pure devotee either in the same life or the next life. So this is a journey that has taken many lifetimes. So you were touched by some touchstones in the past lives. And even in this life you were touched by touchstones. So now you must also become touchstones. Yes? Keep touching people, making them devotees. He got this benediction from Lord Shiva after performing a lot of austerities that whoever, whosoever his head he touched, that head would burst into pieces. Only demonian people ask for such benedictions. What a creative demonian might it needs to ask such a benediction. <laughs> And then he started chasing after Lord Shiva. But Lord Shiva was very intelligent. He took the guise of Lord Vishnu. He appealed to Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu gave him the guise of a Brahmana. And he asked this Asmasura who was doing, looking out for Lord Shiva with his hand raised, like a salute to Hitler. 